In today's video, we are taking a look at a trick that a few YouTubers have already tried. Can you stack circles with Pringles and will other brands work too? All right, Nate, I have seen this going around the internet for years where people, and usually you just see pictures of it, where somebody has managed to stack Pringles in a perfect circle. Have you seen that? I think so. Okay, Action Lab has done this, Crazy Russian Hacker has done this. Uh, I've seen lots of people who have managed to stack Pringles in fast and nice. Okay, I've seen somebody build one of those like as a tower, so. Wait, like they just kept stacking on yes. top? Oh boy, I'm bad at stacking things. So this is, see look at this, I can't stack Today's two. gonna be a great day for you then because guess what we're doing? Stacking things. Physics, 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 physics. So here's the basic idea. We have a lot of Pringles, generic stackable chips and Lay's stacks. We want to see which one of these will give us the best structured circle and which one's going to be able to hold the most weight. Today, the whole plan is we are going to see if we can do what other YouTubers have done, which is stack Pringles into a circle. No glue, uh, it's just, can they hold together with basically friction? <laughs> can these just stay up together? Uh, if it works, if we can manage it, I want us to try with not just Pringles. Our camera guy, Mark, had suggested that we get Lay's stacks because supposedly they're a little bit thicker, so will they work too? And then we have some generic Walmart Stack attack potato crisps. I can almost fit my hand into a Pringles container, not very well. I um, can't fit my hand into a Pringles can. All right, so here's the downside with the plastic. The Pringles one, if I can't fit my hand in, I just can't fit my hand in. But the, the Lay's one, it hurts because this oh, no. edge, this plastic edge is sharp. So not only am I still gonna try and fail, but then I'm gonna injure myself, so. Don't do that. When we were first talking about this, your question to me had been, so wait, you don't like build these around a circle. And you don't. Like, it's not just that you're building a circle and then like you pull the object out of the center. No, 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 they're just held up by themselves. I'm noticing something though, because mm -hmm. you were saying these are probably stronger. They are, however, another major difference. They're flatter. The Pringles curve huh. in two directions. They're curved that way and they're curved that way. The Lay's stacks are curved that way but there doesn't appear to be a curve this direction. So I'm not sure we'll be able to build a circle with them because they don't have a radius. Okay, that's good for us. Now what about the generic ones? These are more square and curved only in one direction. Let's just even attempt to get like a base, like a little half moon. Come on, Chip, curve. So Nate's already started with the Pringles there. This was my attempt to just start with one of the other types of chips and I'll give it this. They stay together great, but uh, only in one direction. So if you need a straight sort of bridge. So good for walls. Yeah, if you need some walls built, guys, your generic Walmart brand potato crisps. There you go. But now let's try and make those circles. One chip, two chip, three chip, and then just keep layering. I'm gonna go both in the back and front. I'm gonna make the base a little bit thicker. Nate's given his buttresses. I've never seen anybody do that before, so that's clever. Ah! Well, I was making good progress. You had it for half a second. But it was not stable enough to hold itself up. I'm learning things that we will share if they end up being true. You've got an interesting, yeah, sort of system going there. What have I done? What have I done? Okay, that's better. Just sort of collapsed one side. No! It's not quite uh, a ring. I'm starting over. Hang on, I, I need to, to go in and change some things on mine though. I was unhappy with the curve. What am I doing wrong?
This is much more complicated than I thought, but what it comes down to is you need the weight on the bottom. If you don't have enough weight on the bottom, the whole thing's just gonna fall apart. Yeah, I'm sure we can get it smaller, like you can see that Nate's over here is much smaller, much thinner, but he's got a much better circle over here with a thicker sort of, with this thicker width of just like more chips, more layers, and it, it still works, it's still good. So it just really comes down to how you wanna do it, but mostly all I can say is this just takes patience, a lot of patience but you can do it. And if you're still stuck at home and you still just need something to do and you have a can of crisps in your cupboard, you might be able to pull this off, guys. Okay, okay, Pringles circles. Proof of concept, done. I do want to point out that there are people out there, yes, much better at this than us, because right now what I want to do is I want to try and put a circle on top of my circle. There's no good reason for me to be doing what I'm about to do but I'm gonna do it. Yes. Oh no. Don't film me! <laughs> no! <laughs> I tried so hard! I've seen chips burn before. I think we've had that on a video even where you use Doritos as kindling. Uh, it works pretty well. Potato uh, crisps, I guess, also appear to burn. They have, you know, some dry starch. They have oil from when they were cooked. Fair enough. And, uh, yeah, they And they don't to... produce a lot of smoke. I'm very confused by that. It is weirdly low. Like, there's little bits, but not, like, lot. Oh, I guess we're just gonna sacrifice this whole circle. No, I just wanted to see what would happen. It's a fire circle now. It's not horrendously flammable. So this is one of our generic stackables. Less flammable. It's thicker, though. This is burning for, there we go. like, a longer time than I would have. I would have thought you'd get, like, a few seconds. This has been going for, like, a minute and still going pretty well. Oh, there we go. Okay. This has a, a decent flame once it actually does get going. Let's have a true side-by-side. -side, a okay. Pringle, a generic brand, and a Lay's. Sure. Generic, Lay's, these are my lightly salted. Okay. Well, our Pringles definitely has the best burn right now. The other two are much thicker. Oh well, our generic is basically out. It's just smoke. Our Lay's is putting up a good fight. But our Pringles is winning here on the flammability test. I think it's because they're thinner. Yeah, I think so. And it's curling up faster, so smoke isn't getting caught underneath like these ones. This isn't to see if we can do it. This is just because I want to now. How long can one of these hold up its structural integrity? Well, on fire. Oh, not long just because of the air pressure. My bad. Start down here. I'm very impressed with it still. Well, now I have fire. <laughs> Let's make some more. Hmm, those don't burn as well. Hey Nate. Yeah? I broke your circle. Yeah. Perfect. All right, guys, I've gotten really good at this. You see, the secret is that you have to make sure that you balance them just right and use plenty of super glue. <laughs> Still, even though you cheated with that one, you managed to make, I think, three in the time it took me to make one. So I do believe you are the undisputed Pringles champion in this studio. Thanks. That means so much to me, I guess. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. If you like this kind of content, make sure to hit that button so you're subscribed and you never miss out on the fun. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.